Yep, it's a shrimp. A shrimp. It's a pistol shrimp. A pistol shrimp. What's going on fish nerds? Carlos here. Hope you've had a great week so far. Today I'm out in the fish room taking care of some stuff, getting some fish moved around because I need to get some tanks cleared out. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some shuffling. And so I need to get these sword tails out of this tank and I also need to get them out of this tank because I want to get the guppies out of this tank into this one and this 30 gallon is going to be the uh, guppy breeder colony rather than just keeping them up here in this 10 gallon and then moving them the females out to other tanks to drop their fry I'm just gonna put them in here I plan on replacing this light so I can get some more plant growth in here so that the fry have hiding places and uh, just get a colony going in there and do it that way rather than focusing on trying to remove females and maximize fry counts and all that stuff just let them colony breed and uh, my brother-in-law does plan on taking several of the sword tails but in the meantime I need to get them moved out of here which means they need to go either here or here but actually I think I may set this up temporarily clear out a spot on this table and just get this set up I do have a sponge filter that's already cycled that I can throw in there add some water and potentially just move these guys out of this one into here in this tank I have lots of the platies that now that the turtles have shown that the fish are too much trouble at least for now I may put several of the platies in here and just see how it goes but I also have several culls in this tank I've got several guppy culls I've got a few I've got a few keepers in here as well but I do have some culls in here that need to be removed I got platy culls that need to be removed and I've got a couple of uh, sword tail coals in this tank that still yet need to be removed as well I don't want to put swords in here if I can get them all down here which would require me to take out several of the platies because this tanks pretty crowded with the platies but the reason I don't want to put the sword tails in here is because I now have my cherry shrimp not only in that tank but also down here as well there is one right there if it'll focus in on that little guy right there so and several over here by the filter so because I have those in here now I'd rather not have the swords in there because I do suspect they would be a lot more predatory especially with the little shrimp and some of these are still pretty little and especially with the babies but then again there is a ton of this hair algae in here for all the shrimp to hide in but still yet I'd, I'd like to maximize my shrimp output in this tank if I can so if I can get maybe a bunch of these smaller platies moved from here up to here and the rest moved over there and get all the culls move o moved over there then potentially I can take these swords put them in this tank and these swords and put them in this tank so that's what I've got to do today is to get these all moved around and get this set up so hopefully tonight I can get this set up and get everybody moved around get things the way I like it and the reason I need the sword tails out of this tank is because of next week's video I intend on rescaping this tank similar to what I did up here may go a little bit more elaborate because I have specific plans for this tank so I'm going to set it up specifically for what I plan on putting in this tank and just a teaser I intend on two different breeding projects going on in this 
tank at the same time. So, in the meantime, I'm going tonight to uh, my local fish store. My buddy Ryan is on his way here. He wants to go as well so that he can get some fish for his tank. And so he's going to be getting fish. I'm going to be getting aquascaping materials for this tank. So we're going to go do that once he gets here. And then once we get back, I'm going to start moving all the fish around. So All right, so we are on our way to the fish store. Got my buddy Ryan. He's driving. Hello. He is after some fish. I'm after driftwood for next week's video. Got the boys in the back. What's up, Benjamin? And yeah, we got Caden back here. What's up, dude? Whoa. <laughs> hey, Benjamin. Benjamin, you ever been here before? You ever been to a fish store before? Not really. You excited? Yeah. Awesome. What about you, Caden? You excited? Yeah. Cool. I like to see the piranhas. The piranhas? Yeah, piranhas are mean fish. You know what? What? They've got some piranhas. I want to see one! I want to see one! I want to see one! They got them. We're going to see them. Alright, let's see what we got here in the way of driftwood. Got a bunch of spiderwood here. I may just go with the spiderwood and just get a single piece. I like this. Let's see, I like that piece a lot. I like it either way it goes. Let's see, twenty-six ninety-nine. I may go with this. Um, we got our manzanita, twelve ninety-nine with that one. I think I am. I'm gonna go with this piece of spider wood. Right, yeah. What do you think of that? Um, the balas are the same. They both have the same. That is an anemone. That's um, what? Wildfish oh, wood. Dude, you're smart. This one? Yeah. That, that's a balas. We've got smaller ones down there, but those are what the balas look like. Um, they are they don't, both balas? Yep, they're both balas. They don't really care. Here's your mollies up here. Benjamin. And they have black ones. Yep, they got black ones, they got white ones, they got gold ones. Here's some more, here's some more gold ones over here. Nice looking rainbow. So good, so you're buying probably little pieces or parts of the Okay. Um, now, if you've got like a vela and like a little bit of neon, maybe come on. Like, that's not an aggression thing that right. you said right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not an aggression issue. Oh, sorry, buddy. Hit my mouth, you accidentally get swallowed. Right. What is it? What kind of fish are these? Um, let's come around here. Do you mean... Oh, you mean the uh, the round one right there with the black tail? Uh-huh. That's a discus. 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 It's pretty cool, huh? Uncle Carl. What, buddy? You know what? What? This thing got some rocks. It's got a lobster? Yeah. Where? In, in that tank. You know what that guy is right here? What? That fish right here? What? That's a goby. That's a goby. A goby. You know what this is? A up here, The orange one's up here swimming around? That's a, that's a Nemo fish. fish. Yep, clown fish. No, it's called a Nemo fish. Oh, okay. Gotcha. There's, there's you see these little crabs over here? See that guy? Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. There's a bunch of them in there. How many can you find? There's one right here. Yep. <gasps> Just a Look. Yep, as a shrimp. A shrimp. It's a pistol shrimp. A pistol shrimp. Hey, we saw. Yep. Hey, that's from 
Finding Nemo too. Yeah, these are all saltwater fish in this one. Oh. Uh, butterfly fish. No yellow tang. So that's all the salt water? Those yep. fish are funny. These are salt water too. What kind of fish is that? That's a butterfly fish. Oh, they don't have this thing. Oh, yes, they do. What's this called? Hey. Um. Uh, I can all see him. Oh. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's over here. Oh, it's over here. What do you think that is, dude? I have no idea. You don't know? It's a firefish. A firefish. That's what the sign says. Oh, look at that one. Not that I know anything. You know what that is? What? No. It's a dog faced puffer fish. Dog faced puffer fish? Yep. Blow up? Yep, but only when he's really scared. But you don't want to scare him because it it kind of hurts him to blow up like that. It's not fun when they blow up. They don't like it. Yep. You know what that guy is right there with the spots on him? You know what he's called? He's a pajama cardinal fish because he looks like he's wearing pajamas. Hey, what is what is this fish? That guy right there? Yeah. That's a black clownfish. A black clownfish. Yep. What's this? 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 Which one? This, this one. guy right here? That's a wrass. Hey, that's Nemo fish. Yep, bunch of Nemo fish. And what is this fish? That's a clown trigger. Hey, look at these guys. You see those guys? You see that guy over there? He caught those in the wild. Yup. And he brought them home. It's pretty cool, huh? You got a bunch of fish in here. You got loaches, you got rainbow fish, you got Congo tetras. Teddy just got a marble mine. He did? Yeah. Awesome. And one of the rainbow are, fish. Are, are those your favorite? Are those your favorite? My favorite are. What is it you getting? You got two marble mollies. I got two of the turquoise rainbows. And a shark. The turquoise rainbows are sweet. I'll have to come back and get more after a while. Yeah. But I had to get one of the Bela sharks. I yeah. I couldn't help it. They're pretty sweet. These yellow rainbows are pretty awesome too. They are almost. I love rainbow fish. I don't have. I don't. I've never had rainbow fish, but I love them. Yeah. I need a rainbow tank, like a tank that's dedicated to rainbow fish. Yeah. That's what I want. See, almost got. They've got two of these. Boyder River rainbows. I almost mm -hmm. got two of those, and then I looked down and seen those turquoise. And it's like, yeah, the turquoise are awesome. Yeah. I love the turquoise I rainbows. Turquoise Goodness, look at these Farlowella cats. Oh my word! Those are those are eight inches long, man. Easy. Those are eight nine inches. Oh, they're sucker fish. Yeah, yeah. Those are awesome. What are they called? They are awesome. They're called twig catfish. Twig catfish? My brother. Because they look like twigs. My brother had one and he loved it. I've got one, but mine's not near that big. Mine's like a third that size. Like it's, mine's about five inches long and not near that thick. I can't believe we got new These are fish. awesome. Those hey, are the biggest Farlowella cats I've ever Daddy. seen. Daddy, what? can we get this one? No, I'm not getting that one. Okay, so we are back home. I got my driftwood. Ryan got his fish. What'd you get, man? Got a Bela shark. Which is Cadence. Which is Cadence. And That's yours? Yeah. Awesome. And I got me some marble mollies. Which is mine. Those are yours? Yep. Sweet. And my favorite. 
my turquoise rainbows. Those are sweet, dude. I love the turquoise rainbows. What? what is that? You a dog? Okay, got the water in here, letting it get to a little bit closer to room temperature, which I got it pretty close right out of the faucet. And down here, we got the turtles are eaten. You guys like the turtles, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, my favorite one down here is the littlest one, Mikey. Yep. And I like this one. I feel like the one that in front. You like that one best? Yeah. Here's my favorite one, Mikey, again. Yep. Mikey is the littlest turtle. Yep, he sure he is. It's almost done with his food. And Raph is all done with his food. Yeah, Raph's always the first one done with his food. Donnie can't even find his food. <laughs> and, I mean, Leo and Donnie, well, he has the most of his food left. Yeah, and Donnie's a slow eater. Yeah. Which means I like Mikey because he's the littlest one. This and guy right here? Yeah. I like the one here. I like this one. You like Donnie? I like the one of I like the front one. The front one? I like this one and this one. I like Mikey because he is a fast turtle. And when I call for him, he doesn't even know where he is because he's super funny. <laughs> I think you're super funny. Leo, man. Hey, how about my two little Leo. fish here start getting ready to Not go home Leo. so we can put our fish in there. <laughs> Okay, so Ryan and the boys headed out so they could take their fish home and get them in their tank. And uh, I just had a pretty good scare. Left the turtles in here eating in these tubs, you know, for a few minutes and actually went into the kitchen, ate myself, came back in here and there's only three turtles. This one was empty and Raph was not in sight. Uh, so, it's now apparent that I need to get bigger feeding containers because apparently Raph is now big enough to escape. Luckily, it only took me like a minute or two to find him crawling over here. So, got him all back in the tank, got him cleaned off. He had a bunch of lint and stuff all over him. Where's he at? I know he didn't escape this one. Oh, there he is back there in the back. So got him all cleaned up. Or no, that's him right here, right up front. So that was scary, but everything turned out all right. We found him. I will be replacing these with higher sided boxes that they cannot just crawl out of. Yeah, I'm talking, but nope, that's Leo. Thought I was talking about you. So anyway. Now to get these fish moved around. Let's get to it. Okay, so we got all the sword tails out of this tank. Just got the plecos left in here. And so that frees this tank up for the guppies to move down here. So I can just run the colony in there. I do, like I said earlier, I do plan on getting a better light that'll actually support some plant growth and maybe just get some val and things in here to give a little more fry cover and also got all the fish out of this tank so that I can scape it in next week's episode and get that all taken care of and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty neat what I've got planned for this I'm not exactly sure how the scape itself is gonna look but for what I want to accomplish functionally with this scape, I think is going to be pretty cool. I hope you guys think it's cool too. But uh, like I said, I'm going to I'm going to try a couple breeding projects in this tank. So hopefully that works out. I'm not going to worry about moving the guppies today. It's already pretty late. I've actually had to override the timers on the lights. So I'm going to be shutting it down, and I'll I'll worry about getting them moved tomorrow. Um, I did put a few of the sword tails in the 15 gallon 
and I did figure out this is a 15 gallon. I actually finally had the bright idea of actually looking up under the lid and the label actually says that it's a 15 gallon. So I've got some of the sword tails moved over here along with several of the platies just simply because I didn't want to put all the platies in here and create too dense of a population and make it too easy for turtles to catch the fish and it looks like the turtles have already calmed down uh, as far as trying to catch the fish. Uh, when I first added the fish the turtles got all excited I guess just from the uh, excitement of me dropping things into the tank. So they, uh, they went after them a little bit at first but these platies are just way too fast and they weren't able to catch any of the platies so looks like they've pretty well given up at least for now so hopefully that works out and if I notice that they're pretty well just ignoring the fish you know over the next few days and that they've legitimately fully given up on catching any of them I'll probably add the rest of the platies in here because if they're not bothering them then there's no harm in having them in here but uh, I'm not sure how well it'll work out in the long long term because I'm sure over time a fish here and there is going to get picked off I mean these are carnivorous turtles so it could happen but we'll see we'll see if it'll work out and I did put the majority of the sword tails in here in the lower 40 gallon which is all still really cloudy from stirring everything up trying to catch all the platies so every overall I would say everything has turned out pretty well and got done most of what I hoped to get done this evening uh, like I said just I'm not gonna worry about finishing moving these over here I'll get that tomorrow probably so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode a little bit different uh, I actually started off thinking I was gonna be doing mostly just stuff in the fish room and then the field trip to the store ended up pretty fun so hopefully you guys enjoyed all of that and if you did enjoy what you saw in this video give it a big thumbs up i really appreciate it and if you want to make sure that you see next week's video with me aquascaping the 20 gallon make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that little bell notification icon so that way you don't miss that episode that way you make sure that uh youtube notifies you because if you don't hit that it just kind of it's random what you get notified for but if you hit that little bell it'll be sure to let you know when next week's video comes out so i really appreciate all your guys' support you are awesome god bless you fish nerds i'll see you next time Okay guys, so it's a few days later now and I'm actually, I'm just sitting down to do the editing for this video and we actually just got home from Ryan's house. We went over to hang out with him and his wife and just have some fun. But they were telling me that on the way home, after they had been hanging out here with me and gone to the fish store and stuff, that Benjamin, their oldest, starts talking about how he needs to get a video camera so that he can tell everybody what he named his fish and so that he can show everybody his fish like his uncle Carlos does. So I just thought that was really, really funny. But then she actually sent me video from the next morning, he went running into their bedroom, dragging his mom out of bed to take her downstairs and show her the fish they'd gotten the day before. And this is just a small little piece of the video that she took of him just going on and on about the fish store and the fish that he got. Okay, so these two mm -hmm. are really spotty because they will be the spottiest in the tank. And there it goes, Brad. Mm -hmm. He wanted to name it either Tyrannosaurus Rex or Sharky, but instead he named it Brad. <laughs> I was trying to get his name, his middle name. Triceratops. Mm. But Caden didn't like it. So, there's Daddy's two rainbow fish. Rainbow fish. Mm -hmm. And you see how they glow? Yeah. They're like rainbows. Mm. That's why they call them rainbow fish. Well, that's pretty cool. And if you want to learn more tomorrow, 
just click a video on me. Okay.